Okay, close your eyes. Breathe in, breathe out. Notice where you feel the breathing. And then pay attention just to that. When breath goes in, it's come, you know it's coming in. When it goes out, you know it's going out. I watch to make sure that it's comfortable. Try to figure out what kind of breathing feels best right now. Would deep breathing feel good, or does shallow breathing feel good? How about heavy or light, fast or slow, long or short? You can change the breath in any way you like until you find something that feels really good, and the mind can settle there. This is an important principle, because if the mind doesn't have a good place to settle down inside, it's going to have start wandering around outside. It's like a person who doesn't have a comfortable home. You, get, you start wandering around outside, you're exposed to the sun when it's hot, you're exposed to the rain when it's raining, you're exposed to the cold when it's cold. You have no real protection. And you can get in all kinds of dangers. You can get run over by cars, you can get kidnapped. That's a problem when you don't have any good place to stay. The mind just starts wandering around in all kinds of things, all kinds of thoughts, looking for some little bit of pleasure, some little bit of satisfaction, and tends to look at it in all the wrong places. So we bring the mind back and we focus it inside, so it has a position of strength inside. So it doesn't have the need to go wandering off so much. If the time does come when you have to think about things, you think about them, but then you can let them go and come back to the sense of well-being inside. You're coming from a position of strength, and that's important in life. Because when people do evil things, when they do unskillful things, it's usually because they feel weak, they feel threatened, they feel insecure. So they do what they can to fight that feeling. And in the end, they just create more trouble for everybody. But if you have a sense of well-being that comes inside, you realize nobody can take this away from you. Your breath is your breath. Nobody's going to steal it from you. Nobody's going to slap a fine on it. Nobody's going to take it away. As long as you're alive, this is yours. And you can manipulate it. You can work with it in any way you like. So work with it in a way that feels good, that strengthens the body, that strengthens the mind. When you think about strengthening the body, it's usually a matter of going out and exercise. But a lot of the strength in the body comes from the fact that the breath energy in the body flows well. It's not obstructed anywhere. So you can sit here and go through the body, sort of make a scan through the body. If there's any place where it feels tight, that means the breath energy isn't going there well. And that part of the body is going to develop a problem soon. So you allow it to open up, relax, 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 from the top of the head down to the soles of your feet. This way you've got a good place inside. And once this place is good, okay, then you're coming from this position of inner strength. Then there's no need to go out and do anything unskillful outside, because you've got a really good source of happiness right here. And this is why the Buddha said that we should train our minds all the time. It's through the training the mind that we attain happiness. We're about to start a new year pretty soon, and people will be making resolutions for the new year. Make this one of your resolutions, that you're going to train the mind this year. So it has a sense of well-being inside, so it doesn't have to give in to greed, aversion, or delusion. When, when these things come up, you can just let them go, because you see that they don't hold any attraction for you. Because you're coming from a position where you feel secure, when you feel a sense of well-being inside. And that's an important place to start. And then on top of that, you can develop whatever forms of goodness you want, because the foundation is solid. And so no matter how many stories you build to your building, okay, they're, they won't come falling down. If the foundation inside is weak, in other words, if you don't have a sense of well-being inside, then even the goodness you do outside will fall down. So try to make sure you've got a solid foundation. 